Welcome back to Steers Creek TV's Reach and Cheese Submission with your beloved host, Kylie. And Rachel. Man, I can't believe we're back again representing Steers Creek TV at Reach and Teach. Oh, me neither. It felt like just yesterday when we had our first show together. Now it's been years. It's been a pleasure being able to compete for a second time as reigning champs of the spring term. <laughs> well, now you got me feeling all nostalgic. Well, we're for sure determined to bring home the big check once again. And shout out to our amazing video crew and fantastic teacher, Mr. Wiesinger, for their contributions. Oh, I have to say, I'm pretty excited to show off this segment. Yeah, me too. You may recognize some familiar names and faces this time around. But don't worry, there are some new surprises as well to keep things fresh and interesting. Oh, I'm so ready. <laughs> you know what else I'm ready for? A joke. A joke. How do you organize a space party? Oh, I don't know, with a lot of gravity. No, you plan it. Plan it. Plan it. Speaking of out of this world, next we are going to hear some things on the stranger side with Bravo and Shooketh. Welcome to Shooketh. I'm Christy Bravo. This is basically Red Hawk Chalk, just more fun. One thing you need to know about me is that I love geography. So this first episode of Shooketh is going to be geography based. Out in the middle of the ocean are two tiny islands with only 2.4 miles between them. They are in between Russia and Alaska. One is called Big Diomed and the other one's called Little Diomed. But what makes them so interesting is that there is a 20 hour time difference between them despite being so close together. This means that if I was on Big Diomed and hopped over to Little Diomed, I would go back 20 hours in time. This has earned them the nicknames Tomorrow Island and Yesterday Island. Speaking of weird time zones, we recently celebrated New Year's and Welcome 2024. But have you ever wondered what was the first and last place to welcome the New Year? Well, I'll give you a little hint. They're two tiny islands. One is called Kiribati and the other one's called American Samoa. There is 23 hours between them. So hypothetically speaking, you could be on Kiribati, hop on a plane, travel to American Samoa, and have to wait 23 hours for the New Year's again. Kiribati and American Samoa are in the middle of nowhere. But where is the middle of nowhere, geographically speaking? Well, scientists figured this out. In fact, the closest place to this is the International Space Station. When it travels above this point, it is 258 miles away. This point is called Point Nemo, and no, it's not named after the fish. It comes from the Latin word meaning no one. It's also called the point of inaccessibility. It's perfect for introverts like me. Well, these were your facts for the day. Join me next time for more chicken. Honestly, I am terrible at geography. Yeah, I would make fun of you, but I don't even know my lefts from my rights. <laughs> well, in my defense, I just have bad memory. I don't know about you, though. I don't think I can make your situation sound any worse than it already is. If there was a way to fix it, I've already tried it and fail. They need to make a class in school for random stuff like that. <laughs> Wouldn't that be something? Oh, and on top of that, add a bamboo basket be in class or something. Didn't someone ask you about the school having one once? Yeah, I don't really know if he was joking or not, but your guess is as good as mine. Any hoodle. Riddle time! Nudge, nudge. <laughs> what is seen in the middle of March and April that can't be seen at the beginning or end of either month? Snow? What? No. Then what is it? The answer is Literally the Literally nothing interesting is about those months. The answer is the letter R. March, April. Oh, May, I see it now. March. <laughs> it's time to move right along to School Duel. Where we as students of film debate what you relate. <laughs> Okay, hi guys, welcome to People vs. People. You're here with Rachel, Kylie, Michael, and Gavin. So today's Michael. topic is, is um, live action versus animated. Kylie, go. I like animated. It just looks nicer to my eyes. I don't know. Well, yeah, a animation, I actually agree. Animation can be a lot more expressive, and you have a lot more range that you can do with animation that you can't do with live action. I think the amount of effort and work that goes into animation makes it way more uh, able to be appreciated. Uh, thousands upon thousands of hours just for small sections of a film. Wrong, 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 wrong. 
Live action all the way I'm wrong, wrong. Live action all the way I love like this. And the, what you can do with CGI these days. And don't get me started on guess, the flash. Guess where, CG, oh, guess, guess where, C, oh, guess where CGI yeah, started? <laughs> Animation. <laughs> But anyway, just seeing someone on the screen telling my it's life she story. Gets to see Timothy Chalamet. It's just too. Oh, oh! You can achieve more with animation. You aren't limited by what's realistic. I'm not saying I'm not saying like that, that animation isn't fantastic. But when I see a, I will 100 percent. That's extreme. 95 percent of the time, click on a live action show before I even think about an animated show. But there are some really good animated shows out there, like Lolly Rock, Winx. But I totally, I totally well, know Well, there's what more, there's more in are. Steven Universe. There's more, but I like that genre of like that like girl group going out to battle animated. Like you watch as a kid, but you love it until you die. My Little Pony, that animation slaps. <laughs> can I just say? I just like cartoons. I don't know. It makes me happy. Children. This conversation went. <laughs> yeah. It's because of Rachel. It's a 3v1 it's where always someone dominates Rachel. the conversation. But then you go and you watch the Muppets. It's like it's live action, but with like puppets. And then clay animation, claymation. That's live action, but it's with clay. It's just like there's that's so animation. Many. No, it's it's half because it's stop motion. It's stop motion is animation. animation using live action. Animation is, exactly. Animation is a, a series of pictures. Mm. Designed in order to uh, to replicate motion. Stop motion is. That's why it has motion. In Did you know that most live action movies nowadays are, for the most part, there's obviously a lot of exceptions to this, more animated than live action. It is interesting. It is interesting. Because there's it is, so much CGI. Yeah. What's the last live action movie that you've seen? Because the last one I, I've watched, it's The last one I watched was Godzilla Minus One. That is an amazing movie. I, see, I don't really that. watch it's really movies, good. But the last one that I watched... I don't, I don't know. I have no <laughs> so idea. Someone who's very passionate. But the I watch shows. Animated like, TV oh. shows. Like I don't watch movie. I watch TV shows, y'all. But right now I'm watching um, the Fire Department Tacoma. That show slaps, bro. Okay, can I just say that? Anyway, thank oh, you right. for watching this People versus People. Huh? Yeah, definitely. <laughs> um, I hope you enjoyed our first edition. I'm Rachel Holman. Kylie. Michael. Davin. And we're signing off. Bye. Bumper <laughs> cards. Oh, I love being right. Is that all you got out of that? Well, what else was there? I mean, y'all went on and on, but my notions were impeccable and my argument strong. What are you, a dictionary? Me, 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 me. Now over to SCTV Island, Challenge Accepted, a segment similar to everyone's favorite cartoon comedy series. Are you talking about Total Drama Island? Yes, I the am. The show where contestants compete in a challenge and whoever wins gets immunity and therefore can't be voted off. Yeah. And then everyone votes and whoever is voted the most gets kicked out. Yes, Kylie. Now let's get on with the next edition. Accepted, and this is SCTV Island. SCTV Island is when all these contestants play challenges or games to see if they get voted off the island or gain immunity to other challenges. The first game is the Whisper Challenge. They don't have headphones on and they don't try to see what I'm saying. Hopefully, they'll get it right. The sky is very blue. Huh? <laughs> the sky is very blue. My shoes are weird. I'll play football. Do you eat a banana? <laughs> no, <laughs> not at all. <laughs> the grass is very green. Rachel? No. Um. The football field is very big. Come on, cause of come for. <laughs> what did you even say? <laughs> ow, ow, ow. Ow. ow! Your pants are weird. My pants are weird. Yes, no. they are. <laughs> <laughs> Your hat has a propeller. My hat has a propeller? Yeah, wait, I'll, okay. My shorts are very long. I'm not gonna say what I heard. <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs>
My shorts are very long. Your shorts are very big? Mm. Okay. I guess so. <laughs> my shirt is black. Say it again, I can't. My shirt is black. My shorts are big. No. No? no. <laughs> um, I'm very tall. I feel cold. No. Alton! <laughs> you like tennis. <laughs> what? You like tennis. Uh, I'm a teacher. <laughs> no. Um, I have an Auburn bracelet. I have a core piece. <laughs> no. Alton! God. Your jacket is brown. Something tomorrow? I don't know. No. No. I don't know. Looks like I want to eat it up. I don't know. <laughs> There's okay. no way you're saying words. I don't believe you. No, for real, I am saying words. Michael has immunity, so he can be butted off. But. And sex ball is Rachel. Again. I hate y'all. You say hi to your mom a lot. I know that challenge seemed easy, but we couldn't hear anything he was saying. I mean, I guess that's the point. I couldn't even read his lips. You could have at least guessed. Saying I don't know is the easy way out. Well, sometimes the easy way out is the way to get. My guesses were also as horrible as they come. I know you can relate. Rude. You know, after all of that hubbub, I need a riddle. The riddle is, I sometimes run, but I cannot walk. What am I? Let me guess, a refrigerator? No. But that's a good guess. The answer is your nose. Like a runny nose. Ew. <laughs> what is this? Next you're going to say, how do you make a tissue dance? Put a boogie in it. Uh, well, that's a joke. This is a riddle, so it's different. Anyways, now it's time to guess a teacher's secret talent with our next segment, Faculty Flex. <laughs> Okay, so how long have you been playing the flute? So I started playing in sixth grade, which would have been 15, 15, 15, about 38 years. Have you like kept up your skill with the flute if you don't teach how to play? Um, I get it out of the bag every once in a while. I have a bag and I have my music and I have a stand and so every once in a while I feel the need and so I just go up into my room and I just play. So I want to learn how to play the cello, but I'm not sure that that'll probably be after teaching and coaching because there's no time to learn how to play the cello right this second. Um, I wanted to be in band. Um, I actually wanted to be a percussionist, um, and my parents said no. And then I wanted to play clarinet because that's what my grandma played, and she said no. And I liked the saxophone and the French horn. They said there's a flute in the closet, that's what you're playing. And so I played flute, I loved it. Flute, I, I played it in church even up till recently when we moved out here, so I like it. 
<laughs> wow. I didn't even play hot cross buns on the recorder, and it's only been like five-ish years since we learned it in elementary school. Yeah, I have no idea how she kept up with that skill. It's very impressive. Yeah, you know, now that I think about it, I could probably figure out the triangle. No, don't even try it. Uh, you might be right about that. Before we wrap this up, a big thank you to Miss Davenport for showing her sweet, sweet skills. And thank you to everyone who has helped us with this show. Uh, it was just as fun and enjoyable as last year. With all that said and done, thank you for watching our episode. She's Kylie. And she's Rachel. We, we hope, hope you enjoyed, enjoyed the show. show.